make a plan for risk management uh, what the probability and impact definition would be is your organization risk averse risk seeker risk neutral what will be the risk appetite and the tolerance of your organization once your risk management plan is approved you identify the risk using pastel expert judgment document analysis uh, look at the business case benefit management plan project charter doing the document analysis utilize swot once all the risks have been identified you put all those risk into the risk register with the planned response proposed planned response and proposed uh, risk owner now you have like thousands of risk you want to rank them you use risk qualitative analysis where you check each risk put the probability and impact matrix and rank them now you have prioritized risk now the next step is if you need to do you do quantitative risk analysis you utilize monte carlo Uh, influence diagram, expected monetary value, decision tree, sensitivity. That is tornado analysis to rank them quantitatively. Important point: only those risk which have already been uh, prioritized by qualitative, you use quantitative on them. Once that is done, you put a response for every single thing, risk, both positive and negative, opportunities and threats. For threats, we have avoid, mitigate, transfer. for uh, opportunities we have exploit enhanced share escalate is shared among both parties if the risk is negative and positive but is above your uh, authority you escalate it then accept the risk now acceptance is a more of a reactive thing uh, that you you don't work in a proactive lay way where you tackle the risk you wait for the risk to happen and handle it but in even in acceptance we have active acceptance uh, where we make contingencies plan and fall back plan but you also have passive acceptance where you don't do anything you just accept and when risk occurs you do work around for that risk now you implement the risk response once the uh, risk response occurred you have implemented it you are left with either residual risk the remaining risk that is acceptable or you deal with the secondary risk you tackle the secondary risk in the same way as you have dealt the primary risk the entire process follow you monitor the risk process through risk review meetings in which risk reports are generated these meetings can be weekly biweekly monthly depending upon your risk management plan and you do the risk audit that is check the effectiveness of your risk process and in the risk review meeting you also see how many reserves are left and the risk who does not occurred which did not occur you basically release those reserves uh, from the and it goes back to the contingency reserve pool i hope this helps you understanding the risk process and that is risk management in less than 3 minute